Tops Interiors. I'm a content creator for Dixie Belle Paint and I'm based in the UK. Today I'm here to show you how I upcycled this telephone table behind me using Silk Mineral Paint products. So here is how the piece looked before. It's a stag minstrel piece so it's good quality but it's looking rather dated. The dark varnish was in bad repair and chipping off in places. So to start off, I gave this piece a really good clean with White Lightning. White Lightning is a degreaser. It comes in granules and I mix it with water and then put it into a spray bottle. After I finish cleaning, I then rinse off with water. Once that's all clean and dry, I'm going to use my Festool sander to remove all of that broken and cracked varnish. I'm using 120 grit sandpaper. After I've removed all of the varnish with my sandpaper, I am then coming back and I'm going to clean it again. I need to get all of that sanding dust off and I'm using the same method with white lightning and then rinsing with water afterwards. It's always important to make sure that the piece is fully clean and you've got rid of all that white lightning residue as you want the paint to be able to stick. And now I've chosen my colour, I'm going for Silk in Anchor which is the black. I'm also using a brand new oval medium brush which I find is the perfect brush for painting these legs especially, without getting any drips. So I'm just going over the entire piece with two coats of anchor. The oval medium brush is a synthetic brush. I always use synthetic bristles when I'm painting with silk as it gives a really nice smooth coverage. Once I've got all of the paint on, I'm going to go back and smooth out the whole lot. My plan is to decoupage the draw sides. When decoupaging, I always apply the paper onto a white background. This makes sure that all of the colours stay true on the decoupage paper. So here I am, I'm using Oyster and I'm painting on two coats to all of the areas where I will be applying the decoupage paper. So I've chosen to use the Floral Ballerina Rice Paper. I've not used this one before so I'm excited to get started. Firstly I use my scissors to cut up the areas that I want. I do love anything floral so I've opted to use this half. I will then position it where I want it, grab some satin clear coat which I'm just applying over the top of the oyster and then I will apply the decoupage paper exactly where I want it, trim off any excess and then apply another coat of satin clear coat over the top. I've also chosen to do the inside of the drawer as I think that really creates a lovely little surprise when you open it up. Now we're almost finished, I just wanted to add one more little addition. So here I've got some copper bronze glaze, I'm just going to pour some of that out and then I'm also going to mix in a little bit more of the anchor. I'm going to mix that all together so I've got a dark but shiny and metallic mixture. Can you see when the light hits it, it's really got a lovely glimmer. So I'm going to be using this gorgeous custom mix with the cosy sweater stencil on the top. So I've got my best dang brush, I've got a small amount of paint on the brush and then I've wiped off any of the excess onto some shop cloth. Now as you can see I'm gently tapping the brush over the stencil. Less is always more when stenciling, you don't want to use too much paint otherwise you will get some bleed through which is the last thing you want, especially when you're working with a really detailed design. So I've left that to dry overnight and then I've come back and styled it with all my favourite decor items. I think that this piece looks so sleek and modern now, especially when you remember how dated and aged it looked before. I'm loving the deep black, I'm loving that stencil, the teddy bear fabric on the cushion is everything. I think I'm actually going to keep this piece to use in my own home. <laughs> and of course, that decoupage paper just adds an extra special little something when you open it up. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you enjoyed watching this upcycle. Remember, if you'd like to see more of our projects, then go and find us on all of the social media platforms at Cherub's Chalks Interiors. I look forward to seeing you next time. For more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your post notifications to get notified when we next post. Thanks for watching.